Hello, hello guys. Good day, afternoon, and uh, here we are again for another series of our uh, Betmum Dacha playoffs, and we'll be having a lower bracket first, which is Biscos up against DSM. So elimination match. Tiga natin kung sino yung magpaproceed para sa next round. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Dyer's turn to pick. Duska. Uh, there goes Tuscar for the second pick on Bisco's side. Waiting pa rin tayo dito sa second pick naman ng TSM. Yeah, maganda naman yung Mars actually to answer out the Jotocopter, yung Flak Cannon, Arena of Blood. Sobrang uh, decent naman yan. Para lang uh, manigate yung mga possible damage. Wala rin naman ng spin. So, uh, gratunan nga pala kay uh, Mark Gamboa bungawin. Delay na po ito, boss, kasi meron na tayong in-game sounds. So, ganun na naman lagi. Pag meron na tayong in-game sounds, guys, delay na yun, ibig sabihin. Kasi sa Dota TV na tayo mismo nanonood. But unless sa uh, official broadcaster ka, yan. Well, Invoker has been picked by TSM to be followed by Phoenix. Not sure about the idea of Phoenix for this game. Wala naman silang uh, sobrang gandang control to protect the egg. Pero yung missing for Beast Coast din naman is yung uh, decent na right-click heroes na pwedeng bumasag sa Phoenix Ultimate. So, Snapfire is still available for them to grab. I mean, maganda rin naman yung Snapfire kung didig natin yung heroes ng Beast Coast. Diba? Arena of Blood, Mortimer Kisses, Tag Team, Little Shredder. I mean, ano naman yung uh, pwedeng mag-benefit. Silencer! Yeah, thank you so much, boss. Yeah, I mean, mas okay naman din talaga kung sakaling uh, merong in-game sounds, diba? Saren Sir has been picked by Beast Coast. Yeah, possible counter lang sa Invoker. Double silence. Uh, mas madaling mag-initiate uh, for the side of Beast Coast Five dahil meron silang seconds. silencer. Fourth pick for Beast Coast. Dyer's turn to pick. Dark Seer. Dark Seer for the fourth hero. Yeah, medyo okay lang naman yung uh, Dark Seer for me. So ano ba to? Mars mid yung mga yare. Kung sakali mag Dark Seer yung Beast Coast. Okay lang naman yung Mars up against Invoker. Tek wala naman siya magiging problem dyan. And Dark Seer Tuscar combination. Medyo scary yan on the part of TSM. So they'll be grabbing Lycan. Not sure about the Lycan. So uh, Wolf Bite. Pwede mag-benefit yung Gyrocopter kahit pa paano. Pero pwede kumuha dito ng... Uh, Late game heroes yung Beast Coast para sa kanilang safe lane. Kasi di naman sila ganun malulugi ng Lycan eh. Di naman ganun kalakas si Lycan sa lane stage. So possible siguro yung mga Morpling. Yan. Pero kailangan nila mag-ingat sa power spike ng Lycan kapag available na yung Helm of Overlord. Pwede kasi nila magdiradiretso dito sa TSM. Troll Warlord will be removed. And uh, for Beast Coast, probably uh, looking to ban a support hero. Seconds. Five seconds remain. 
So next ban for Bisco, sino kaya? Oracle will be removed. It is Dyer's ban. And there goes the Undying right after. So puro position 5. Yung uh, tinanggal dito ng uh, Bisco. Expecting na Phoenix position 4 yung gagawin ng TSM. Baka mamaya at Phoenix lang ni Whiteman to eh, di ba? Position 4 pala yung hinahanap nila. Pero okay na rin yan. Uh, for the side of TSM, need to decide kung sino yung safe lane hero na okay ding ma-remove. Feeling ko morphling na lang eh. Parang may hirapan sila sa morphling. Meron pa silang gyrocopter. Pwede pa niyang kopyahin yung uh, flak cannon ng gyrocopter. So I think morphling is a good ban. So, last ban for TSM. Pinag-iisipan pa rin nila dito. Madami-dami pa naman yung reserve time. 45, yes. Still available. So interesting, not what I'm expecting, but they'll be grabbing Marcy for their final pick. Five seconds remain. So let us see about that. If Marcy was a good choice for Beast Coast, they need to decide because he's going to be the position one hero. I do still believe face. I mean, face of victory. Uh, Morpling is okay. Goodness. Kaya kailangan na magkaroon ka ng uh, items. Goodness. So yep, they went for Morphling, as expected. So late game timing, I'm pretty sure I'm going for Beast Coast para sa game na to. Pero tignan natin, uh, maganda maglaro yung TSM eh. Maganda yung uh, early stages lagi nila kung paano sila maging aggressive. Pinapatanayan naman nila yan dun sa previous series nila kagabi. Di nagalaw? Paano di nagalaw? Diba? Magalaw naman boss eh. Ang kit ng Marcy. Ito yung bagong set ni Marcy na. So here we go. Smoke play a god for the TSM. The only ones to 
Turn lights off, please, sabi ni Vryl. As pressure builds, the stalwart remain true. I'm getting too old for this horse shit. So ito na, for the bounty runes. God's Rebuke to push them back Pero makukuha pa rin naman dito ng TSM yung bounties It might be 3 bounty runes secured for TSM And they might be looking for a kill Actually Scuffle dito is running fast Has the boots of speed so he'll be fine Yeah, 3 bounty runes And actually nakakuha ng kills si Stinger Phoenix goes down, Scofield Dito dropping low. He needs to be careful. Yeah, maapag suicide pa rin si Scofield under the tier 2 uh, bottom tower. Hindi naman ata nakapag nakakuha ng XP dun, yung uh, Phoenix. So 1v1 lang yung Gyrocopter and Dark Seer. I think ideal to for Beast Coast kapag ganito yung nangyayari. Na deny pa rin naman ng Mars. Yeah, Stinger nag TP out naman. And he's safe. Brile just throwing some spell over to the uh, Mars and securing last at the same time. So sidekick available na para kay Whiteman and that's one way for him. Para lang uh, mabigyan or mabuff yung uh, gyrocopter dito. Life steal and damage, both included. Isa to sa mga hindi masyado pinapansin. Pero may teams na gumagawa naman kahit pa paano. Yung Marcy changes, yung sa sidekick. Na parang support na lang yung datingan mo. Naghahanap ka na lang ng uh, specific hero na talaga magbe-benefit sa sidekick all the time. And gyrocopter, yes. Isa naman siya sa okay din. Red running, surge out, back to safety. Again, will be used. No ball, and Scuffle should be fine for now. Kana mga uh, magiging follow up, except for the flak cannon ni Timado. Ato mana rin siya para sa homing missile if needed.
Bottom lane. Kasane. Kung uh, ayaw naman pasindak ni, Saka, ni Kasane dito. Kahit half HP na lang siya. Meron na ba siyang Helm of Iron Will? Ah, actually meron na. So, under na yung armor, under na yung regeneration. Hindi ka makasurvive naman sa kanyang link. Another dispose. This time over to Sacred. Surge out will be used. And that should be enough for him to run away. Sunog yung tubig. Pinabato ng first spirit si Morphling. Got it. So, even pa rin naman yung score natin. Sacred. Aabutan naman ni White Man contesting those uh, neutral stacks. Blood Grenade used. Cartel joining the fight. White Man gonna be in trouble. Tries to deny himself onto the neutral. Not gonna happen. Kill secured para kay Sacred. So, even though na-contest niya kahit pa paano yung ibang neutrals, so, nakakuha naman ng kill yung Darkseer. Same goes with the XP. So, uh, okay na rin yun para sa Darkseer. But it's not okay for White Man. Going six minutes para sa game natin. Radiant should look to their middle tower. Radiant have fortified their structures against attack. Haste! Tag team, Timado. Dropping vacuum will be enough to finish him off. Kill secured, a big kill secured for the side of Peace Coast. That was the gyrocopter. There is little hope for Radiant's middle tower. Ay, naglaban naman nga ba itong team na ito? Taka lang nga, double check ko lang guys. Kasi ka ba yung naglaban before? Ito sa group stage, yung ginulpi ng TSM. Yan yung gusto kong malaman. Kasi na ba yun? Ah, Evil Geniuses. So, in then Sa bagay. Evil Geniuses din yung kalab... Ah, hindi. TSM, kalaban pala nila kahapon. Nine pandas. Okay, okay. Yeah, first time pala lang nila nilang magalaban. EG pala yung uh, binugbog ng TSM sa group stage. Seven minutes para sa game natin. And, uh, wala namang masyadong lumalamang. Pero maganda to para sa side ng Beast Coast kasi mas ano eh, okay yung late game nito. Mas kaling may even out yung game sa ganitong minute, then uh, should be fine. Magkakaroon ng time makapag-farm by Morphling dito. Wala pa naman nag-enable for the sa TSM para lang uh, ma-pressure dito yung Beast Coast. for Dyer's middle tower. Eight minutes, let's check the net worth. And sitting on top is yung gyrocopter. So, okay pa rin naman para sa TSM kung ganyan yung uh, situation.
Mayaman yung gyrocopter. And ante lang naman nila dito is yung power spike with Lycan. Diba? Magkakaroon ng Helm of Overlord. Grabing aura given for Timado. Helm of Overlord aura. And then meron pa tayong uh, sidekick. Now, there goes the EMP. Cold snap. Arena of Blood Spear to pin down the Invoker with a wall on top of this. Brile Tornado connecting onto multiple heroes. But it won't be long. He will fall. Kill secure. Dark Mago dropping at the same time with the Black Cannon coming up from Timado. But Timado has been surrounded. They have the Arcane Curse and the Last Word on him, and he will die two cores down for the side of TSM. Dyer should look to their top tower. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Nine minutes going ten. Top lane. Rebound. Dinga lang aabot. How about this pose? Well, the cold slap umabot naman. To make sure na aabot din yung dispose the white one. And that's a Tusker dead. What surge is this? 1k advantage for TSM. Arkin na rin makukuha naman ni Dark Mago dito. Yeah, I mean, sinulit talaga niya yung battle niya. Yung bumato pa ng spear. For the Lycan. Three lanes sa may bottom. And I think Dark Seer yung isa sa hero na pwedeng nga uh, makalain dito sa Lycan. Iron Shell. Yan. Medyo goods naman niya na against Lycan. Good for me. 10 minutes para sa game natin mga boss. 1k advantage pa rin naman for TSM. Now, Arino Blood was used. Can he get his way on here? White Man trying to finish him off. They have the vessel still over the Dark Mago and he goes down finally. White Man, well, he's having some sustain thanks to the sidekick given. Yung uh, shared life still. Yung sidekick, ang laking bagay din eh. So two down for the side of Beast Coast instead. And ito na, nag start na kumuha ng momentum yung TSM with Lycan joining the fight. Tier, tier 1 mid lane tower, makukuha pa nga ng TSM. So more map control pa sa TSM squad. Eleven minutes going twelve, two key parin yung kalam ng TSM. The bottom lane action, like an in trouble, that's three heroes. Like and down. Got it. Well, top lane, more bling, vessel included, and that's a big kill secured for the side of TSM. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Thank you. 
under attack. Dyer should look to their top tower. They know blood use. Trap Dark Mago inside, the EMP will do connect, Dark Mago is still running, and Tornado not gonna connect. But the Lycan might be able to keep on going, has the shield rune to try and protect him, but is it going to be enough? Maybe it will be, he's still alive for now, the spear to pin down the Lycan, then how about the units? No, it won't be enough to finish him up, they've lost Tusker instead. Mars still running away, wave from out Paraki Gym Park, and as for Kasane, he won't be able to kill someone, going for the Ancient Stacks instead. They changed some XP for the side of Beast Coast, that's the only thing they could do right now. So no answer up until now for Biscos. The even pa rin naman yung game natin. 7-7 yung score. Lamang lang sa network dito is yung TSM. Kamalapit na tayo sa Helm of Overlord. Power spike ng Lycan. And uh, for Gyrocopter, completed Ags. Almost up with Crystalis. Tapos max out sidekick na ba to? Yes, max, max out sidekick na rin to. Tapos meron pang alacrity, di ba? Nung invoker. Grabing ano eh. Buff yung gagawin nila sa ano eh. Gyrocopter. Parang 4 protect 1 yung mga yan. All in sa damage sa Gyrocopter. Buti meron nga silang Mars sa ano eh. Beast Coast eh. Kung sakaling wala silang pampigil sa flak kanan. Yung pwedeng makablock sa flak kanan. Wasak yung Beast Coast dito. At ni Crimson Guard. Importante rin. Pero for Darkseer. He's going for Blink and Axe. Magka-settle na siya doon sa Greaves. Feeling ko Crimson Guard game to eh. Every time na meron Jaro Cutter, parang sobrang ganda ng Crimson Guard. Well, trying to bring down Mago. Hindi naman naabot yung uh, EMP. But it won't matter. Sunstrike! Yun! Hindi pa umabot. <laughs> yeah, parang namatay pa rin naman sa si Dark Mago. Yun pa rin naman yun. Satanic! Will be the next item choice for the Jotocopter. It's not a big AB game. Well, middle lane, team fight broke in. They managed to take out Omarcy immediately, so we'll have a sidekick pop. So, so I mean, a snowball. Global silence committed, Invoker trap inside the Reno of Blood, but Val is still quite okay. There's no follow up except for the vacuum. Supernova has been committed with Tornado connecting over to Morphling. Jim Park needs to run. Wave from his way out, but the Lycan might be able to keep on going with Spear to pin him down as well. Dark Mago in the trouble. They have the cold snap to hold him, and he will die instead of the Morphling. So that's two down for the side of Beast Coast. 4k advantage on TSM. Morphling, he needs more time. He needs more item. Para lang makasabay dito sa heroes ng TSM. Manta style pala yung ano yung invest niya. And the BKB which is not going to give any damage. Pagkati sa mga teamfights. Talagang ano lang to. Survivability. Para mas damagal siya. Well, bottom lane. Scoffed has been found. Snowball to dodge the EMP impact. That should be enough. Wala naman magiging follow up dito para kay Bryl.
Now Roshan. Roshan secured para kay Timado. That's the Aegis. So ito na. It's go time for TSM. Ano binili ni Timado? Ba't parang wala siyang gold? Nagdaydalo siya? Kanina ba dyan item tong Agrims tsaka Crystalis eh? Ah, okay. Binili niya ning, ano yung river. Yung pala yun. Kaya wala siyang gold. So, uh, morbid mas na lang tsaka Claymore yung kailangan niya para sa Satanic. Now, for Beast Coast, like what I said, kailangan pa nila ng uh, items pa dito sa Morpling. Puro defensive items na yung natin so far. Kailangan na ni, mas mayaman sa si Gyrocopter para mas okay yung team fights nila eh. Ito na, kinuha na nga niya yung uh, Reaver. Well, team fight broke in. Do found Mars. Dark Mago will be taken out. Shaper committed over to Stinger. He can't do anything, but he had the snowball safe to buy some time. Just delaying the inevitable. Stinger Dito will still fall for sure. Three down for the side of Beast Coast. And Jim Park, what can he do? Just needs to farm again. But TSM will be ready to push. Mid lane tower, here they go. I actually like and is rotating with uh, Ari. Yeah, probably looking for Morpling. But I want to set on the tier 1 top tower yung Lycan while Jadocopter is trying to get this tier 2 mid lane tower. Yeah, medyo isolated dito yung heroes for the side of Beast Coast. Ari is still looking over to Gene Park. Gene Park scouts him. Invoker is here. Ready to help out. Gene Park has his BKB. I think he needs to use this. Yeah, he'll be using it. TP out. Yeah, there we go. He's safe for now. He'll manage. And uh, tier 1 top tower na lang nakuha dito ng TSM. Instead of middle lane tower. 8 kick all advantage pa rin for TSM. Still has the ages for 2 more minutes. And magkakaroon tayo ng pause. Lag lang daw, sabi ni Kasane. Wait lang, lag lang eh. Lag, pero G ulit. Ay sa. Ganun ka na fix. Tormentor, kukunin na nga lang dito ng TSM. Shard upgrade, kanina ba maganda mapunta? Sa Phoenix yung ideal atay, pero kay Whitemon mapupunta yung shard. Same pa rin ba yung shard ni Whitemon? Yung uh, Marcy? Yung sa rebound pa rin ba? Oo, oh, same pa rin naman. So tier 2 top tower, mukhang makukuha naman ng TSM without any contest And actually Secret gonna be in trouble There goes Whiteman together with uh, the Invoker Blood Grenade use Not gonna be enough to catch Secret Arcane Curse, last word over to Whiteman Just zoning him out Look at this, yung ginagawa ni Timada dito, dumadaan sa tier 2, tier 3 mid lane tower Wala ito, papasag na lang daw yung TSM Third tower on top. Fortification finally has been used. And that's going to be a gym park. Defending the tier 3 top. Timada Dito will be settling on the tier 2 mid lane tower instead. Gets it. Gym park in trouble. Tornado. Yeah, mapag we from out pala naman si gym park. And Timado just rushing forward. Still has the ages for a full minute. Goes for the third tower on top lane. Beast Coast, they are just watching their base getting destroyed. Sidekick, Solar Crest, Alacrity, tas yung aura ng Helm of Overlord, lahat na binigay sa Jadocopter. Spear to begin the fight, Arino, Bloodshot, the Jadocopter inside. But he has still his Aegis, so I'm not sure what they're doing. Timado, Pop Satanic trying to survive. Yes, he can! He will survive and kills two right now for the side of Beast Coast. Tornado Sandstrike connects over the Dark Mago. One more right click with a Vessel included. The Dark Mago will die and GG has been gold. Jim Park goes down. He'll bought back but the game is over already. That's it. TSM 
damage. Just a quick game one, 23, I 20, I mean 23 minutes in. Game is over. Ganun ganun lang yung nangyari. Wala tayong parang nakitang sobrang laking team fights. Yung tipo nagka full wipe, yung ganun wala naman eh no. Talagang na outscale lang sila ng TSM. Alam nila hindi nila nakayang depensahan yung uh, base nila. Sobrang yaman ng Jaro Captor. Grabe yung buff na binibigay. Uh, we're talking about sidekick tapos solar crest, alacrity, tapos yung uh, aura items nung uh, Lycan. Hindi nila mapigilan yung Jaro Captor. Ang yaman eh. Doon lang talaga. Nagbenta na nga ng items sa Gym Park yo, bago matapos yung game. Well, that's it for the game 1. Magabalik pa naman tayo for the game 2 after the short break yan. Thanks so much for watching guys and be right back tayo.